Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 238, Constraint Input Dynamic List Date Format. I have here a very basic model in Quantrix. And what it has is it has a timeline, and I'm using this timeline date, timeline date formula to go ahead and populate the dates within these cells for each of the months, the first day of the month. And I have a matrix down here where I want to have a date selection based off of what is entered in the timeline date up here. And in Quantrix 2018, uh, the newest release of Quantrix, what I can do is I can go to Constrain Input, I can select Dynamic List, and then I can put in a range. When I go ahead and I do that, I click OK, and then on my dropdown, you can see that I see th that I have a a bunch of numbers here that aren't in the format that I have up here. These actually do me no good when they're not formatted correctly. So what I may be tempted to do is to go up here and select date time format. And again, I select it. I still don't see it. So why is it not working? Well, in theory, maybe this is a key of why it's not working is because my numbers, you can see that they're left aligned. That means to me that they indeed may be coming in as text. So I'm going to look at the constraint input here and I'm going to actually convert them to numeric values. When I go ahead and I do that, it brings them in as uh, in the date format. One other thing to note is they are completely wonky and out of order here. So I also need to, in my constraint input, make a selection to sort in the pop-up, sort list and pop-up, and when I do that, it comes in in the correct numerical order as I would expect it to match that of my timeline up here. So if you wanna do some constrained input using a dynamic list and you end up having some numbers in there and you wanna apply some special formatting, make sure you go ahead and you click convert to numeric values and then you may or may not want to sort the list in the pop-up. So that is uh, my trick for today. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I mean, I set up at night and I just think, I really wish somebody would ask me more questions about Quantrix Modeler so I can make more videos, I can make your day, because making your day at Quantrix makes my day in my life. So please reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com with any questions you have with Quantrix. And please, uh, join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.